Hi guys, I'm Ariti. I'm from Zell Education. Um, I, I manage the HR function here. And uh, having a background of talent acquisition, recruitment, the complete HR business partnering, I think it's very important to share my perspective here. Uh, we've had a lot of queries from students. They wanted inputs on how can we understand the recruiter perspective or how effective can uh, we be as a job seeker by leveraging the LinkedIn platform. So this video is exactly for people who are at that stage looking out actively in the market to find the right job, the right company for yourself. Uh, so LinkedIn has always been a platform where people think it's, um, it's the best way to network and keep yourself available for people for business purposes or maybe job opportunities. But in this video, I'm just going to talk about the career options through LinkedIn and not the networking part of it. So Zell Education as an institute offers courses like ACCA, CPA, CFA. Uh, we have our team to support you with the right guidance for any of these courses. This is the number where you need to reach out to them. Um, also, if you've liked this video, kindly like, comment, share and do subscribe. So uh, before we start off, you need to understand that LinkedIn is one such platform, which is the go to or the favorite platform of all recruiters. Uh, having worked in brands like Tata, uh, corporates, startups, uh, companies like Phoenix, I know how a employer or a recruiter looks at a profile uh, when it comes to them, right? Because it's not just a couple of CVs that come in, it, it, it's in hundreds or sometimes even more. So when you want to make yourself visible on LinkedIn or any platform for a recruiter, it's important that you stand out right, from the other candidates or the other applicants who've applied for that role that you are interested in, right? So we start off with understanding of how the LinkedIn profile has to be uh, telling your story of who you are and why are you the right fit for the kind of position that you're trying to apply. Now, I think uh, being in the industry for more than a decade, uh, my inputs, my, my thought process on being on this side where the HR actually evaluates profiles uh, from a pool of CVs that they get, a couple of things does help. One is, uh, especially on LinkedIn, when you are available or actively looking out for a job, make that visible. So you see a, a feature which says, what are you open for? It is right below your profile picture, the top part, top section of LinkedIn. So uh, it says, are you open for job? That's what you need to click. Once you click that, it'll exactly ask you details if you're open for a job from when, okay? So if it's like you are completing a course or you're already interning somewhere and you know you've got two months, you can exactly mention the date. When are you going to be available for the new role? So you can mention that there are preferences of location that you're looking for. Also, if you're currently working somewhere, you want to keep it confidential, but still my suggestion of adding this feature, then go ahead and mention that uh, open to work should be visible only to recruiters. Then what it means is in your general profile, it does not show as if you're open to work. It's going to be visible only to people who use the recruiter version of LinkedIn, which is again, talent acquisition people like us, right? Uh, last bit, I don't know if too many of you are aware of this. The URL that we share with people when you're talking to HR, they say, okay, are you on LinkedIn? Can I have your profile? We send a very long URL of LinkedIn, which, which does not say that it's your profile, right? Really long. Uh, there's a way to shorten that, make it absolutely crisp and specific to you. Again, there's an option on the right. This is where you need to go. Uh, click the option of URL, make it shorter. So if you see mine, it'll be LinkedIn slash Ariti Roy slash right it, it's as simple as that so when i'm talking to someone and i need to give my linkedin profile link i didn't need, i don't need to hunt it or you know copy paste and send it i exactly remember and i give the details talking about your linkedin profile how do you make it apt for anybody to view it like it and go ahead and want to speak to you never have uh, details which is just one word a couple of words which actually does not convey what exactly you've done Right. Starting with your uh, description, which is on the screen when you see the about section, which is marked here on about section. This is basically a couple of lines exactly telling your story, who you are, what has been your past experience. If you are a fresher, talk about your education. What are you passionate about? Is there any kind of certifications you've taken while you were studying any kind of volunteering or part of 
uh, the committees in the college fairs that you've been part of is very important that you put it up here because when the recruiter looks at, at your profile, about is the section which they first look at, right? So that's about about. Uh, second is your the the profile picture that you use, you'll have to remember all said and done, LinkedIn is a very, very professional platform. You have to be careful about the kind of picture you are using there. It has to be professional, looking into the camera, enough light. Uh, that, that seems that you are very serious about your profile and the process of uh, job hunting. Right At the bottom, you see that there are options where you put up your educational details, your employer details. Every bit of it, whatever it asks, obviously the steps are pretty simple when you're trying to fill in your profile, but every section will have the title of what you want to fill in and then description about it. Most people, what they do, if, even if you're writing about your qualification or the internship that you've done, they just mention the company name or the college and they leave it at that. Again, be exceptional on what you want to show the recruiter, add details on what you've done, if possible, even achievements. In college, if you've done your BCom, but uh, you have excelled in a particular subject or you've got a award for something, just mention it there. It just adds to your profile, right? So that's about filling your profile. Uh, at the bottom, you also see the option of skills. Now, I'll tell you as a talent acquisition person, we candidates by putting the keyword, right? It, why am I sharing this with you? Because if I give a perspective of how we look or search for the words, it will exactly help you on getting those words added in your CV or LinkedIn profile so that your profile throws up to people like us, right? So the skills option, uh, the skills uh, part, which is at the bottom, uh, gives you an option of putting any kind of skill which you think is relevant for yourself, your profile or the job that you're looking at. It could be as simple as MS Excel to something on, on sales, on, on leadership, on presentation skills, on negotiation, it could be anything, right? But make it a point to add things that are relevant and to top it up, you can also endorse yourself for these particular skills by your people in the network or friends. So uh, now being very clear with how do we make our profile apt, now we move on to the third part, which is the most important part, right? Understanding the importance of LinkedIn was our first part. Second part, you make your profile absolutely ready for the recruiter to view it and attract the recruiter's attention. Third is how do you literally go ahead and start applying for jobs, right? So on, on the screen, if you see, uh, this is where you need to look for job section on the right hand side top, you see the jobs icon, you click on that, it gives you two options. One, you have the search where you search by either company name, either you search by designation, role, location, you've got various parameters. So if you have your list of 10 companies that you wish to work for, go ahead and put that and you get a list of their open positions, you go ahead and apply. Uh, also at the bottom part, you see a lot of jobs that are suggested for your profile. This somewhere again connects to the kind of skills and profiles that you have uploaded for yourself. The algorithm in LinkedIn works in a way that whatever is your skill set that you've added for your profile that's relevant, automatically it, it kind of pushes that as a suggestion to you for the jobs that you should be applying right? To make your job easier. Uh, this is the best way. Look at the suggested jobs. Most of the time it is relevant and also uh, sometimes it's it's not the, the typical job roles that you type and search. These are something different, but LinkedIn knows that it, it is very close to your profile, right? So look at both the sections, the search and the suggested jobs. Um, just cover all the possible ways of uh, applying for every job that you think is open and made for you right? Um, when we go and understand on how do you apply, you'll again see two kinds that you can apply. The options are more set by a recruiter or the employer. One is the easy apply button. When you click on that, you see you click and automatically your profile is being sent to the recruiter. We, the recruiter from the back end, get to see all the candidates who've applied. The second option of applying is uh, it just shows apply and then you see a small arrow against it. That means it's going to take you to a third party platform to apply or it takes you to the website, the company website where it's their internal system or database of recording the candidates who've applied, right? Either ways is fine. It's just that easy apply is faster and uh, the just the apply button is slightly longer, but it takes you to the right side. Right. So this is uh, this is it about how you need to apply. Right. So uh, this is all for this video. In case you all have more, more questions or 
more ideas that you all want on how LinkedIn or any other platform is going to help you as a job seeker. We are here to listen to you and have our next video ready for it. Uh, wishing you all the best. May you get the best job that you've been dreaming of.